Hello everyone. Going to check this here to make sure we are at the right place. I have to click quite a bit of uh, hmm. Okay, I think I get the comments there. I see Carol also. So if you can tell me if you can hear me, that's always my uh, thing. Here we go. Okay, I think it's working. Perfect. Awesome. So yeah, the, the face, the picture here looked very weird. I noticed that before going live, it's almost like, uh, I don't know. So we'll see. So tonight, you all gonna pick the color that I'm gonna work with. And don't name a color yet, because I you're gonna pick from a color uh, collection. So let me put that down. We're going to be, yeah, let me put this down here. Okay, so we're going to do something. Uh, been a while I didn't do, make you choose the color and so on. Here is the stamp set that we're using tonight. This is part of celebration. And I know many of you are going to say, I really want that stamp set, but it's almost impossible to get it because the way it is. Well, let me tell you a bit how you can uh, get that stamp set. So I know that it's say O's there. Let me show you what we're going to do with the host part. This we're going to put the X there. We're going to put the X there, okay? And so all orders, so you don't have to host a party. You can get this stamp set with a combining orders of $300. So let's say that you and a few of your friends want to combine your orders together, that it reached the $300, you're going to get this stamp set. Another way that you can do it, you can contact me and we can start an OS code and tell the people to go place the order under my online store with the OS code, you're going to get the credit and when you reach the $300 you can get the stamp set. So it's a few different ways. Also many people were thinking if you guys get this stamp set you don't get any of the other one. No. For every $50 or $100 you get to choose a celebration like the paper it's with $50, stamp set with $50, $50, $50. Let me move this here. The rainbow paper, $50. Marble, $50. The otter, $50. And then it go with order of $100. So let's say that with an order of $300, you can choose three of the $100 mark. This is $100 too. Or uh, six at the 50, or you can choose two of the 100, two of the 50, whatever you want to play with. But you get this on top of the celebration, okay? On top of the one that say O's at the 300. Not only that you're going to get this, but if you flip in the um, regular catalog, you are, you can choose from the set or also in the... <clears throat> Oops, mini catalog, even if it's say OC, I scratch all the O's because it's any odor at that. Or you can take the mischievous mouse, mice, or expression in friendship, you can choose that. Or you can go choose anything in the catalog with the value. So at the $300, let me flip this here. So at the $300, you get 12%. And so that is $36 of free product of your choice. Oh, boys are going in and out. Mm, let me check that. Okay, let me see what's going on here. One second. One second here.
Yes, fading in and out. Okay, let me see what's going on. Okay, is the voice still, um, it's fine ear, voice it's fine ear, hmm, oh, Facebook had been like this all week, okay, so let's hope it's better, that darn Facebook, so let's keep on going, mine it's fine, dang it, don't you hate that when it go like this? So what I'm saying with $300, you get the hostess that it's called. So it's the stamping rewards at 300, you would get $36 of free product. So you can combine your order with your friends and so on. Or, you know, you can collect all the orders with your friend or I can do um, the host uh, thing. Oh, I just don't like this. Let me see what I can do here. Okay, we're going to try one thing for the voice. One minute. Okay, that's correct. Okay, um, the replay are good. Well, thank you. So some people are saying it's Facebook. So I'm going to go with it and let's hope that it's going to be okay. I'm sorry. It sounds like it's a Facebook thing. Some people, so let's hope. So what I'm saying, you can combine your order with your friend and you can give me a call. We can place the order or you can go on my online store and collect the money of your friend, whatever works for you. So let's get started. Let's hope that tonight you're going to choose your uh, the color, but it's not any color. You're going to choose oops, from the neutral color. So this is a you. We're going to work with this tonight, and I got something in my mind, that's why. So, you, I'm going to go with what is the, major, the majority thing. You get the choice. Mary Merlo, Early Espresso, Soft Suede, Crumb Cake, Sarah Sand, Gray Granite, Smoky Slate, Basic Gray, Mossy Meadow, or Night of Navy. No, I am not on, on uh, YouTube. This is just Facebook Live. Okay, so you pick your color. I'm going to go with the majority. So tonight, what we're going to do, uh, I got white and uh, vanilla here, because depending which color you guys going to pick, okay? So that's what I'm going to decide if I go with white or if I go with vanilla. Um, so we're going to get the big stamp set. I want to show you something. Uh, I put the stamp set together and some of it, see, they're kind of stuck in my uh, thing. You're going to take your pick tool and you're going to put your finger. It's very important to put your finger on your spatula, okay? You're going to go under, make sure you go under the paper and then lift and then you can peel it up. Okay. So I know some people, some people are going to take there and tap it on their clothes a bit. Don't do too much because then you want it to stick also. Before they were not sticking, they were falling off the block and now they stick too much. So you can tap it on your clothes a little bit. But this is going to help you very much so. Okay. So we're going to put this on the book. 
And looking at this very quickly, I'm going to say that Mary Merlot is the winner. Okay, so we're going to go with the Merlot, okay? So uh, we're going to, I'm using the new, um, and this is in the new catalog in the mini. I didn't uh, mark the page, but uh, I'm going to find them quick. They are on page 65. So page 65, right in the corner here. So I'm using the butterfly uh, and flower layering mats. Okay, so from that, I'm going to use this one right here. Okay, and I think with Mary Merlot, I'm going to go with vanilla. To be honest, the only color I think I would have went with white, it would have been basic black, I mean black, and then um, also uh, gray and smoky slate. The rest, it was all ready for vanilla. So we're going to stamp that. I need my ink and I need paper and so on. One minute. Okay, that's what happened when you don't have, uh, I got scrap paper here, when you didn't, when you don't know the color you're going to work with. So first thing we're going to do, and I'm doing two cards, so that means we're going to have two winner, okay? We're going to go ahead, and I'm going to take the Mary Merlot, and we're going to stamp this. I want to make sure that it's in good. I think my Merle, Mary Merlot can be uh, can be ink. If oh, is that pretty? Just like that, isn't it gorgeous? Okay, we're gonna go with another one because I want to do two. Okay, we will do two tonight. Et voilà. Okay, I'm going to use very vanilla. Uh, we're going to score this at five and a half. We're going to flip this and cut at four and a quarter. Now, I need four and a quarter by, I'm not sure. <laughs> okay, it is three and a quarter. I think that was four. Yeah, okay, so four and a quarter by, is it, oops forgot my goodness I don't have memory tonight that's four okay so this here measure three and a quarter by four so our layer is going to be four and a quarter by three and a half so we're going to need two of them et voila okay I think we get our paper now we're going to take, so I got a tip uh, uh, for this here. So if you don't want it to move, you can take just a little bit of a seal there, put it there. Now you can, we're going to take this, put it at the top here. Try to match that appropriately. Okay. Now, I don't want this to move, okay? So you can take a piece of, this is painter's tape. 
you can take a piece of painter's tape and because right now can you see you know what let me put another piece a dark color in the back so you're going to see better okay so i'm bringing a piece of black here it was boo boo there so you can take a piece of tape we can put that right on top so then you're going to see the difference here now we're going to put this at the top and so i just try to match this a little bit here it don't have to be the perfect match uh, i'm just trying to match that a little bit okay so that looked pretty good to me now this one you can tape it right here or let's say that your mask we're going to do a mask that's going to be uh, all around you can put it in the center also so that's going to help it a lot of the shifting and the moving now i'm going to take my mary merlot i still want my scrappy paper though here and i got a, a blend brush and you know i don't use um, i don't have a blend brush for every color so the red i use them in the red or the yellow in the yellow and so on so here i think that was maybe uh i think that cherry cobbler and uh melon mambo i bet but see i just wipe it the best i can i don't wash them now i want to go softly okay so see i just gonna tap this here and we're going to go just around the image so i just going to go softly around i don't want to go really on top i just going to go around and you want this lighter than your stamp image okay so now before we move everything you can take this and lift this up Ooh. okay so that's good see okay that's when it's done now and we're going to do both though of our card base so i'm going to go ahead and put that right here and this we just need the um around we don't need the center because it's going to be cover okay so we're going to put that there and we're going to go ahead this is our card base so it did measure four and a quarter by um, 11 score at five and a half see i always go on my tap it on my scrap paper first another thing that um on the card you can do that i didn't do on this one because i don't like it when it's shift you can take another piece of tape and open your card and put it inside here so that's going to stop a lot of the moving and the motion so then it's a lot easier to keep that all together you don't have to do that neither you can go ahead and just you know do it it's just sometimes it shifts on you and you're like oh i lost my pattern so that's going to help so now let's remove this and voila okay so now we got this one now we're going to do the other one because we're doing two tonight and it's a reason you're going to see so oh dang it i had ink on something something let me um grab another piece of paper sorry about that i know it's when i touch the uh what, what you may call it the the tape at uh ink on it so just be careful now we're going to score that at five and a half okay now i'm going to put this here put my paper and the reason why i put black so then you can see better 
I want to make sure that. Okay. And then we're going to put this at the top. And this one, I cannot have that there. See, because it touched my, so I'm just going to put my center there. Here we go. Now, we're going to go ahead and so it's very kind of, oops, I'm cockeyed a bit. Oh, oh. See, that's what I didn't want to happen. Here we go. Going to put that back down. Um, it's very kind of monochromatic, but on one of the cards, we're going to add a splash of color, okay? That's why I wanted to do two, if I can manage to keep this one together. Here we go. Ah, perfect. Voila. So now we got it. So now, let me move this aside here, and I want to share one thing. This year, it's very important that after you use a, a blending brush or if you use a sponge to wash it. What I do to wash mine, I bring this in my cover here so I don't get this wet. Take my washi washi. Well, first, let's remove this here. Okay, so I don't have to go at the sink. So I'm just going to wipe this. And then I'm going to dry it. That's it. So then you know that next time you come to clean it, boom, it's done. Okay? And I'm not sure if you watch my um, live on um, the walkthrough of the catalog. I'm looking where I put those, um, I thought they were here. You can emboss with them. Like, see this one, it's embossed with the flower. So you can emboss with that. Here it is. So this one was embossed, see? That's the one we used tonight, but I put a thing. So the way that you emboss it, you put um, your plate number one, so this is how you're going to do it. Your plate number one, then a plate number three, and then you're going to put your silicone. You're going to put, where is that paper? You're going to put the paper, and then you're going to put the mask. And then you're going to put the plate number four. Woo! Roll it through. And boom. You can emboss with your mask. So not, not only that you can, um, you know, sponge like I did, you can emboss. Let me show you another one here. thought I had another one. Yes. So here is this one. See, that is. Um, stuff got legs uh, tonight in my room. I know why it got legs. I'm thinking the darn boys, right? Uh, this was this one here. See? This is this one. See this? So it's embossed. And then this one here, the flowers, was this. That was this, see? So, now you now you get the jig, that mask, or now just for masking, you can emboss with them, okay? So that was the one we used tonight. I'm going to keep my recipe here. There we go. Okay, now let's get back jiggy with it. So now, we're going to take this, and we're going to glue this together. Put that right here. Oh, you know what? I'm going to get some uh, legs. OK. 
Okay, I got my silicone mat here. It's a reason why I got it. Now I'm going to put this right here. And we're going to take a piece of, oh, I saw I got another one there. We're going to put our lace right here. Okay. Ooh, need, wait a minute. I need a little bit more on the other side. Okay, let me remove this tape here. Here we go. Okay, now we're going to put that. I always like to secure my tape to, F, I mean, my ribbon after it's done. Here we go. Now we're going to put that right here. See, very plain, but very elegant. Now I want to add a little bow, but... Mm, uh, no. Let's see if I can do um, a bow with this here. Because it's just lace on one, the bottom there. Let's see how a bow look with this. I don't know if. No, I don't like that. So we're going to get pearls, okay? Let me get some pearls. Even better, I'm going to take the Aridison uh, rhinestone. Uh, with that pinkish in this, I think this is going to look good. So I'm just going to add a few randomly. It's just add that extra bling, okay? We're going to do uh, this one. It's a nice greeting It's in this one. You make me smile, happy birthday, lovely you. Um, I'm going to put this one, you make me smile. And it's all one color, okay? So you need very little uh, product with this. <laughs> So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take my You Make Me Small. I'm going to stamp that there. See, I get the line there. Okay, let's go back here. Et voila. Very gentle. Now, inside the card, I'm going to go ahead and this was already ink, right? And we're gonna stamp that off. We're gonna go back in and stamp it again. Okay. Very soft. Now, what did we put? You make me small. Um, you're in my thoughts. Uh, it's the little thing uh, that make life great. I think that go perfect with that. Or I love being your friends. That too would go good. Need another block. Oh, this one's too big. Okay, now let's see if I can put this kind of straight here. And then the next one, we're going to add a little bit of color, okay? Now, I'm just going to put this on the left side. Ha! How pretty that is see so very very little so now we're going to do about the same thing but let's add some color if I can oh, right here so this one 
first I need the card base, right? Here we go. Okay, let me get some color. So we're going to add green and we're going to add some pink. Okay, right here, I got the light uh, Calypso. So it's the light Calypso, Just J, the light, Crumb Cake Light, and Flirty Flamingo Light. So, oh, I need some yellow too. I'm going to use some So Saffron, and we're going to do the lines here. Now we're going to go with Crumb Cake, and we're going to do this a little bit here. And, you know what, this one I'm going to go with the dark. So I get the dark one. It's the first time that I stamp with Mary Merlot and use the blend and it play a little bit of trick on me. It's almost like bleeding a little bit because all the other color that I play with usually is just really, um, uh, how can I say that? It blend very lovely. This one want to bleed a bit, it look like. But I think we're going to get it. Yes, it would make a very lovely sympathy card. Now I'm going to go with the Just Jade. And we're going to do the leaves. So the reason why I wanted to do both is to show you that you can spend more time coloring if you love to color or like the first one we did you don't have to spend a lot of time you don't have to color at all it looked pretty just the way it is because this it's beyond gorgeous i think very very gorgeous uh, flowers i would love that you all could buy it right but this one they put it in the rewards so it's just gorgeous plain gorgeous right so th this here i think it's more like a flower that it a bud of the flower uh when i'm done i hope i can show you the one that i did uh, this afternoon i thought oh i just gonna wing it tonight and then I wanted to try it because I didn't do any cards with this yet. And I was like, oh, so I did try one. And that's why I was like, hmm, I'm going to make them choose a nature color tonight, a neutral color, so I can do the same thing. Mine, it's in the soft suede. So let's hope I can remember. So you guys remind me, right? Yes, I know, Elaine. That's why, Erlene, I mean, that's why I'm saying, you know, gather with your friend. That would be the best way to own it, you know. Now, I'm going to use Flirty Fleming, um, Calypso here. Calypso. Oh, this thing is shot. And I knew that. That's okay. I'm going to go here. This is the light Calypso. And you know what? I'm going to add a little bit of the flirty. I want darker for this one. Now, I'm just going to brush where it's already dark with the flirty. There we go. It's funny because I put yellow in the center and the brown and it don't show. So I'm going to add more brown there. I think it needs something in the brown tone, like where the seed pods is. So I'm going to play a little bit with that. So see, so now I had my pink. It's gorgeous just that way with the white. Oh my goodness. 
that looks striking I think so now I'm gonna go and add my flirty flamingo here my big brushes they're shocked And even if you keep some of that cream or the vanilla, whatever, the white, if you use white, I think that give quite a bit of character to the flowers. That look awesome. I think it looked very pretty. This is very therapeutic tonight. It's just calming. I love to work with this flower. I'm like, wow feels so calm is it funny how some stamp set just put you at ease like this one is just it's something about this flower that really really put me just not to sleep but at ease okay now i'm gonna go and we're gonna add a little bit more I like to have the bottom darker so it's bring the flower give more depth and it's already you know done like that the artist put that stroke in there et voila Okay, I want a little bit of something in the center there. So I get, oh, you know what? We're going to bring the Wink of Stella. Here we go. Perfect. That looks so beautiful. Okay, so now I don't want to re-ink this again. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to off on it, okay? That, that's when you off. And we're going to stamp. Perfect. So you see we stamp on the card. And then I stamp inside and inside again and see it's still plenty. So now um, this one here, we're going to stamp happy birthday. Happy birthday. So we're going to wash this. And... Voila, and then inside, we're going to put the same greeting. The, it's the little thing that uh, make life great. I think that go very lovely for a birthday also. We're going to smack that right here. Voila, I just love this. I love it, love it, love it. And somebody mentioned... Um, sympathy card and my sympathy card stash it's way low so i think that i'm going to make some of this and uh, for sympathy so now let's bring this so now let's see if i want um this also there or if i want to keep it plain okay we're going to do this different here watch this so we're going to put that there well first let's have this ready to go okay i just need come here yeah okay now let's bring this back here 
what we're going to do, let me push that up so you can see what I'm doing here. We're going to overlap that just at the bottom here, see? You have to bring that sideways. Okay, let me make sure. Okay, Let's see if this is gonna work here. Okay, now I'm hot. One sec here. You know what? One second. We're going to fix that up. I'm going to put that right here. I need the, the exact size. So let's cut this. When I get something in mind, I'm going to work till it. I can get it. Here we go. So now we're going to leave that right here. And let's put plenty of adhesive on this, especially at the bottom. And then I'm going to stand up here, and we're going to make that work. Ha ha! When there's a way, it's... When there's a will, there's a way. I am sorry, it's Facebook, Deborah. Voila. Okay, and then envelope, envelope, can we make two? <sighs> See, still plenty of ink. <sighs> and there again, perfect. Didn't have to re-ink it or nothing. So see this one, I didn't put no blanks. So all the back, it's more muted, very plain, because, you know, I think with the color, it's plenty. This year, we didn't color, but we did just around the image. And then both of them, it's the background. And um, another thing I could do, though, it's a little bit of flicker on this one. Here we go. So very uh, easy, easy going. So let's sign that. Sunday, I will um, announce two winners. Hey, it's 2022. Et voila. How about that? Is that a winner? I think it is. I really think it's a winner. So what do you like better, with color or without color? I think it depends on the occasion, right? Here we go. Well, I'm sorry it was going in and out. From what I'm reading, it is Facebook. So, uh, and somebody said the replace uh, gonna be good. So we'll wait and see. Hope that the replace is good. With the color, of them both. I'm trying to read. It's going fast. Please show us. Oh, thank you for reminding me, Linda. Thank you. See, that's why 
I tell you guys, you have to remind me. So this was the other card. So see this one, I was just, see I get different color. I was trying different color until I rock my stamps. See the thing? And then I decide to try this and see how soft it is. This color here, I think that would, it's, it's sad to say, but I think it would make the most pretty sympathy card, but then at the same time, a wedding card. How can you have both, right? So, yeah. S see all that? I think it's, they are lovely. So that's why I wanted to go with a neutral color, because I knew with a neutral color it could be blended. It didn't matter if it was Knight of Navy or Merlot. Uh, I was hoping in the gray, but uh, Mary Merlot was very, very pretty. So I'm glad I tried that. Uh, I think like a gray and a little bit of pink with that would be amazing. And black with a little bit of red maybe. Any color. So I hope you enjoy uh, this. Again, if you like what you see, give me that thumbs up. And please tell your friends, share with your friends. And I will uh, announce the winner. I will have two winners on Sunday. And I'm going to send you one of those cards. And when I send the card, I don't write in it. So you can use it, send it, and give somebody else a good little smile in the mail, right? So thank you so much for joining me. Don't forget celebration. It's going till February 28th, but it's while supply class. So some of the stuff can go quick. And if your wish list is over $100, I would say, join my team, become a discount shopper. You don't have to run a business. You can join to be a discount shopper. You can run a business, absolutely. But you can join for the discount. Any question, please? Contact me and leave me a comment. Until next time, happy stamping, my friend. Bye-bye for now.